дамы и господа, а турнир ММА серии 15. Время новых героев продолжает следующий бой в полулегкой весовой категории. В синюю конкретке приглашается боец из Таджикистана Хабибула Азиза! You're watching MMA Series 15, Time of New Heroes. We're live from St. Petersburg, Russia, brought to you by the Football Sports Network and are seen around the world on the Clash TV app. Huge thank you to both of those for bringing these fights to us week in, week out, consistently through this worldwide pandemic. I'm Ian M16 Butlin, and this is a fight we're going to watch. This is probably my pick of the main card fights. Two unbeaten fighters here making their way down for this featherweight contest. And you have Khabibulo Azizov out of those wins. Two wins by KO, one by Rene Kachuk, one by Triangle. So all four wins have been stoppages. So his opponent making his way down to the red corner, Artem Semenov. Artem Semenov made his debut on the MMA series. MMA series six, he won with Triangle in the first round. He then returned for MMA series 11 with a second round Triangle. And then we saw him on the MMA series 12. He won, he had a tough fight by decision. Now, this is a born and bred MMA series fighter. He's gonna to wanna to keep this winning ways. And as I said, this is Ian M16's pick of the card. I just cannot see this one failing to excite. You've got two guys here who out of seven fights have won every single fight. Only one of them going the distance and we've seen such a variety of finishes. Two young stars trying to make the name. Работаем три раунда по пять минут. Внимательно напоминаю, что ударная техника головой запрещена. Ударная техника локтем разрешена, кроме ударов локтем 12-6. Внимательно слушаем мои команды, деремся честно и активно, стремимся к досрочной победе. Руки пожали. You're watching MMA Series 15, Time of New Heroes. I'm Ian M16 Butlin, and this is the main fight on our main card. Kabibulo Azizov in the blue. Artem Semenov in the red. Two unbeaten young stars. One of them's all has to go. So as I said, only Semenov has gone the distance. But he's got two fast wins as well. As he's off. With the blue tape, black shorts, Reebok shorts. He has won three of his fights in the first minute, minute and a half. So watch for him to start fast. I don't think any of those opponents are as good as Semenov. If I was looking at the faces in the stare down when he went to touch gloves, I think Semenov looked a little more nervous of the two. You saw his face, his, his jaw sort of clenching. He was the cold killer stare of Azizov staring through Semenov. And it's Azizov who's took the center of the cage so far. Semenov though there, 
Fainting, fainting the kicks, using the hips. Giving Azizov a lot to think about. Looking for the reactions, looking how your opponent moves when you faint, move the hips, the shoulders. Drawing shots out of them. Low kick there. And there's one back from Azizov. Inside low kick, Azizov swapped again. There's one back from Semenov, evening things up. Semenov now starting to get on the front foot, looking to use that jab. So this can often happen with two evenly matched fighters giving each other so much respect here. They both know one mistake could be the end of the fight. Single leg pick up by Azizov, but punched off by Artem Semenov. You see here, giving each other respect. This is where the jab will play an important part. That was a nice clip with the left hook there. Counter left hook. And he's saying, get up. But on paper, Azizov probably the, the more the striker, but it's the, it, that was sharp striking, a good left hook. Flying triangle attempt off the takedown. If he can control the head, he can tighten this up. He's got that triangle tightened in. This would be his third triangle win. Both his finishes we've seen on him in a series have been triangles and now he's got another and he's got two minutes to finish this and tighten it up. This is a bad position for Kabibulo Azizov. Artem Semenov with his signature move here. He needs to pull that uh, leg in. He needs to... Uh, good, that was good work. Good escape from Azizov. You can see the leg was... The foot was coming from behind the leg and it was moving more to that diamond position as he worked out. But there, Semenov showing his danger with a triangle. He spotted that triangle from the single leg pickup. That's a big right hand now from Azizov, showing his power as he drops Artem Semenov to the floor. Both these guys have said, quick finishes. This is what I thought. Either one could win this fight. The damage is done there from that punch. And I think Semenov is still not recovered from the punch as he eats more shots on the ground here. You're watching MMA Series 15, Time of New Heroes. This is the last fight on the main card before our three big super fights coming up. Three huge fights. Stay tuned for those ones. But this was my pick of the card. Two unbeaten young fighters. And these are big shots now coming in from Kabibulo Azizov. We know Semenov dangerous from that guard. Dangerous with the triangle at the moment, he's just eating shots. He doesn't seem to recover from that shot standing. And Azizov looks to be trying to get a finish here. He's got 40 seconds left in this second round. Uh, sorry, in this first round. It seems like the second round has been so much action. And then, again there though, there was nearly a mistake that got the triangle up. Semenov will be looking to counter with the triangle, I believe. More big shots going in. Semenov has took a lot of shots so far as he catches the head. Looking for a guillotine or head and arm. Again, postures up, comes back with a big right hand there. As is off. Ground and pound, as ground and pound has been on point here tonight. So round number one. So far. You see the punch for the take down there. The first clip, the first good punch of that round was Artem Semenov with a counter left hook. But then the solid right hand and all the heavy ground and pound punches for me have been Kabibulo Azizov. So if you're watching at home on the Clash TV app, make sure you clap for your favourite fighters. Score these fights. Let us know your opinions for me. The first round for Kabibulo Azizov, the man who is 4 and 0. Oh. Second round is not a place these two are very used to. But they had great pace in that first round. Neither of them looking tired, for one thing. Both of them still working all the way to that final bell. 
testament to the condition of these two young men. Here we go, Kabibulo Azazov, Tajikistan in the blue. He saw an opportunity there, I think it was a, I don't know, it was a slip or a twist of the ankle there, and he stepped on him straight away, put Semenov back, and he landed a lot of clean shots there again. Semenov looking a little dishevelled as he eats more punches, left hook, right hand. I think Azizov would have been better staying, staying off there, and he was landing good shots instead. He closed the distance, and he's into the clinch. Take down Azizov. Hanging onto the back of the head and the overhook. Is Artem Semenov. Semenov looked rocked in the first round. And he took more shots once he was rocked. That same thing happened very early on in the second round. Not even into the out of the first minute of the second round. And he took some very heavy shots. Khabibulo Azizov of Tajikistan on top. Artem Semenov of Russia underneath, trying to work the guard, trying to get something, some sort of success. He's let Azizov pass to half. Back to the full guard now. Azizov seemed very ready there just to let him back to the full guard. I think maybe a mistake against someone with the sharp guard work that we've seen from Artem Semenov. The triangle is definitely a worry, so for me, in this, if I were for coaching my students or me fighting myself, I would definitely be wanting to stay into the half guard where you don't have the worry of the legs going up. I can keep a good control, good position for the solid ground and pound, which is clearly as is of favours. There he passes to side, drops back into the guard, and again he's in that triangle position. This is the worry that you have against someone who's like Semenov. He's dropped back to his back, trying to split the, the knee, the foot from the back of the knee again, trying to make space. But this is Semenov now on top in that triangle position. He's got three minutes. He lost the triangle last time. He will not want that to happen again. And he's keeping this tight. You see the pressure now from the hips. Referee Vasilev Keselov asking, are you okay? He needs to push the hips in forward, keep that tight. If I was him, I would actually put my right hand onto my shin of my leg and that shortens the space if you see where his um, right so that there is basically a 12 to 6 elbow it's called the only elbow um, that is illegal in the ground and pound is going from 12 o'clock down to 6 o'clock a directly down elbow um, you can't elbow to the spine so there's certain places of the body you can't elbow but the actual angle of that elbow was the problem there so what we call a 12 to 6 elbow so well spotted there from the referee he stepped in there and he's going to now give Kabibulo Azizov an opportunity to defend uh, to to recover from that shot for me Artem Semenov that was him just getting a bit over oh, I hope that Azizov doesn't play that he can't continue because I think that the, the punch hasn't done enough damage for that to happen and I, and I think that is kind of playing the rules a little bit there and I know it's an illegal blow and he will get the win if he can't continue but for me I would like to see Kabibulo Azizov continuing here those are the, the striking shots more likely to cut the top of the head than do severe damage but there's no reason in my book that Kabibulo Azizov cannot continue and I think this is what we call gamesmanship and playing the rules, in my opinion. And Artem Semenov, I would be disappointed for him if, if he makes a silly mistake like that with just um, throwing the wrong elbow in the heat of the moment and then the fight gets stopped. So here, that looks like He's saying he can't continue. So a question from the Clash TV app as we're waiting for Kabibulo Azizov to be stretched out. It says, when fighters are even, how do they get an advantage? Is it just patience? Yeah, you've got to spot your opportunities coming. You've got to 
focus and a lot of it is down to experience making sure that every position you're in in the cage in a fight you've at least been in there and you've experienced that in the gym you don't want to ever get into a position in the cage that you've not been to or not experienced it's good in the gym to work from bad positions work from good positions i say to my guys if you've got three roles if you've got an opportunity to have three sparring partners for that day get one who you're better than so you can try some new stuff out get one who's an even match with you so that you can um get a real test of your skills and you get one who's better than you so that you can feel what uh, what someone's trying to do. So a disappointing finish to a very good fight with a lot of skill there. A feel for Artem Semenov. But here's a replay of this featherweight contest. Two such well-matched fighters. The ground and pound and the takedowns of Kabibulo Azizov. And it was the guard work and the attacks from the guard, the dangerous guard of Artem Semenov. Azizov landing heavy strikes inside. The ground and pound was definitely his forte. You saw him landing clean on the chin and really rocking Artem Semenov. But Semenov consistently dangerous with that triangle from the guard. And very unfortunately, you see the illegal elbows. They were illegal. I'm not arguing with that. But for me, I would have liked to see Azizov continue.